I got to tell you guys something. I've been looking everywhere trying to find on how to blur your camera in OBS on a Mac. Yes, for weeks, if not months, I have been looking for this task and I've had no luck digging through YouTube videos, searching forums, digging on the internet anywhere I can for hours on days, whenever I have spare time anyways. <laughs> well, I finally found it and when I realized what it was, it was like, really? That's it? I did not use stream effects in OBS for the plugin because I'm a Mac. Mac does not support stream effects for OBS, only Windows. So with that being said, let's dive in and I'm going to show you guys how I got around to blurring my camera in OBS on Mac. And just to let you guys know, I always stream every Friday at 7 p.m. Eastern time, description below. All right, so the way to do this is what you wanna do is you wanna first go to your app store on your Mac. When you go to your app store, I want you to type in and search for camera settings. Then once you come in your, your search results here, you're gonna see webcam settings. This is the application that I was talking about where you're gonna be able to do a bunch of configurations to your webcam. Think of it like the Logitech settings application that they give you. It's similar to that, but for a Mac, I like using this one because I can have different profiles for different cameras that I have plugged in. Whether it's Elgato, like capture card for your uh, DSLR, or even webcam, obviously. So then once you grab this, I think it was like five bucks. It's very cheap. Uh, best investment ever for controlling my cameras. So then once you download that, you go ahead and run it and it's gonna be up here in the top corner of your screen. So then it shows the current cards that are plugged into your computer. So the first thing that you're gonna to wanna to do is go to show webcam settings panel. Then once you do that, then here is all your settings. So right now I have one C615 from Logitech and another one of the same plugged in. The Elgato capture card is just plugged in, not doing anything right now. Um, so to know which camera is which, that's just kind of a judgment thing, especially if you're plugging in more of more than one of the same camera. So then what I do from here is you can easily, now that I think of it, as I make tweaks here, it's probably gonna mess up my uh, OBS. So let me bring in OBS here, okay? So now if I go into this right here and just choose that camera for starters, and this is what it will look like from the start. You got a basic, advanced, and preferences. So in the basic, I set mine to manual. I never use auto because then you're gonna have focus coming in and out and all that. So then like if you're doing product reviews, I always try and find my happy medium for the focus and just leave it as is and I've never had a problem before. So then this is all set to your own custom needs depending on what you have running for your soft lights, the lighting in your room, etc. You got your exposure time, your gain, your brightness, your contrast, your saturation, your sharpness, and then the white balance temperature, which I also have disabled on auto because I want to have it to be a certain set for color in the, the picture of my camera. Then after that, I go, I never play with the aperture priority. After that, I'll go to the advanced. By default, it's on 60 Hertz. I always turn off the backlight compensation because uh, if you have a dark background or something on your, your picture, if you turn that on, it will help a little bit. But then if say you don't have a really fast computer, it's gonna use up your resources. So I always turn that off and then just adjust everything manually to taste. So then right here, next is your uh, focus. Now, this is the key, but let's get back to that in a second. So then uh, there is also zoom, which as you can see, if I zoom, it's gonna zoom me in right there in OBS. And depending on your camera, uh, you can zoom a, a certain length. Like mine is only from here to there and if I try and go any more, it just, it doesn't go. It just, it all depends on the camera. 
Then you got your pan and tilt. Maybe instead uh, you got your camera somewhere that you can't reach and it's like behind all your gear, a TV or something. Uh, you can always uh, pan your camera to having it position where you want to. LED, if your webcam has an LED on it, you can choose whether you want it on or off. I just have it off because there's no need. I got the soft lights. So then, preferences. This I never touch, no need to. So then once you have your settings, I'm get, gonna get back to focus here in a second. Once you get back to settings in your basic here, then you have manage profiles. Now, remember, if you have more than one camera plugged in, you can save profiles for each camera for however many cameras you have. So as you can see, I got one for Native Instruments Machine from when I'm like coming in on a top down view close up to uh, the device. Uh, green screen during the day, uh, zoom game day, that means I'm zooming in on my face uh, for this camera that you're looking at now. And then zoom game night. Uh, so whether I play during the day or during the night, those are my profiles. And then if I click camera default, which is there by default, that will put everything back to automatic and try to balance everything out for you with the autofocus. So now let's get back to the advanced tab here. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna switch to my other scene here. This is what I call my, my be right back scene, okay? So, uh, or like you could do like a starting soon, stream starting soon or something like that. And this is what I was picturing to have a blur effect, okay? So now let me choose the other camera here. All right, so now that I chose the other camera, which is the same name, it's just kind of named differently here. So that kind of, you can kind of tell the difference between the two. Now, I also have all my different settings here, of course, but if we go back to the advance, go to the focus and start cranking it up. There it is. There's your blur. So if you want a blur, like be right back screen, starting soon, what have you, that's the key. I mean, of course you could bring it back and then you can just have this be another view too if you want for in your your <laughs> for your OBS scenes. But uh, for this purpose that I did here, I just said 75%, that looks pretty cool, you know? And then of course, like you can kind of see on OBS here that it's a little grainy or maybe I'm a little blown out right here from the soft light on my right shoulder. So I mean, that's where you could dive back in and adjust your exposure time, your gain, your contrast, all that stuff, and then you would be good to go. So that is pretty much how I figured out how to get that blur effect on a Mac in OBS for your webcam. So yeah, once I figured that out, I was like, yes, that's it, that will work for me and I don't need a Windows PC to be able to have a blur effect on my camera. It does just the same exact thing. And I highly recommend grabbing that application and it will do just fine for you. But just a reminder, I stream every Friday, 7 p.m. Eastern time. Link is in the description below. And let's come in, let's chat. I'll help you out with anything you guys have questions on or let's just chat about anything. Let's play some video games and stuff too. All right, guys, I'm DJ Bone. Until next time, peace.